ExpressJS, CommanderJS, Mocha, SuperAgent, Stylus, Pog, and Koa are some of the most popular packages on the Node.js ecosystem. Combined, they all get at least 700 million downloads per month and have generated billions of dollars in revenue for companies all around the world. ExpressJS is a Node.js framework and gets 30 million downloads a week. CommanderJS is a library for building command line interface tools and gets 130 million downloads a week. Mocha is a JavaScript testing framework and gets 7 million downloads a week. SuperAgent is an HTTP request library and it gets 8 million downloads a week. And Stylus, a CSS preprocessor, Pog, a template engine, and Koa, another Node.js framework, all get at least a million and a half downloads per week. If you have ever developed with Node.js, it's practically impossible that you haven't used these packages, or at least used a package built upon them. Beyond their immense popularity and a shared foundation in JavaScript, these packages have one mind-blowing thing in common. They were all created by the same self-taught developer, TJ Holowaychuk. He was one, if not the most prolific developer in the Node.js ecosystem, an ecosystem that he would eventually leave. More on that later. TJ, originally from Canada, started out as a graphic designer and got into coding because of Flash. And as he himself wrote 10 years ago in Quora, he didn't read books or went to school. He just read other people's code and always wondered how things work. Not a lot is known about TJ. He is a fairly private person compared to other famous developers. He is also not big on public speaking. I contacted him to do a video interview a while ago, which he declined to do in a very nice way. Because he very rarely made public appearances, Appearances and did not go to conferences, but was so incredibly productive, for a while people started to think that he was not real. Some people thought that TJ Holowaychuk was the name of a group of developers, all working together, and that no single human could be as productive and prolific as he was. There is almost no video evidence of his existence apart from this video of JSConf Argentina in 2012 of TJ introducing himself. Apart from proving that TJ is human, another interesting thing about the video is that the fella right next to him was Guillermo Rauch, the creator of Socket.io, Next.js, and Vercel. According to Hacker News comments, it looks like TJ and Guillermo used to work together at the same company, and that things did not end so well. More on that later. Two years after the video, and hundreds of Git commits later, in 2014, TJ published a post on his blog titled Farewell Node.js. In this post, TJ explained that he did not enjoy working with JavaScript anymore and was instead moving to Go. He said that after rewriting a program in Go, the program felt more robust, it performed better and was easier to maintain. He said that he would still use Node.js for websites, but that Go was a better tool for the kind of software he needed to write. After leaving Node.js and moving to Go, people wondered if he was going to keep building projects in Go and being as prolific as he was with Node.js. The answer to that question was a no given by TJ himself. He said he had zero intention of being that prolific again and that his new goal was to live a better their life. He then said this, which I love, quote, I spend most of my time enjoying other things now. I write code two, three hours a day, unless I'm really into something. Time is your real currency. Money is nice and all, but don't waste your time. If you really enjoy the project or projects you are working on, then go for it, but don't neglect other areas of your life or people. How cool is that? Instead of joining a massive company like Google or Facebook, which he could have easily done, TJ started a company called Apex Software, where by himself, he built a beautiful software solutions. He built Ping, an uptime monitoring tool for websites, applications, and APIs. He built Apex Logs, a beautiful log management solution. He also built App, a command line utility tool to deploy serverless applications on AWS with one command. App was open source with a paid plan that unlocked some extra features. Back when Vercel was called Zeit, they released Now, a product that looked incredibly similar to the app product that TJ built, which of course did not make TJ happy. TJ was understandably annoyed. He said he was not going to be able to compete because, quote, when someone is going to copy you and make it free, there is not a lot I can do in that case. End quote. On an issue on apps at GitHub, TJ had a really interesting opinion on startups. He said, quote, startups are just a joke to me in general. Instead of building a real company with your own skill, just hire a bunch of people to do it for you. Often it's just privileged people with social capital who are too lazy to build a business the real way or don't have the skills. It's much harder to make $10,000 a month than it is to make 5 million in VC funding. 
What do you think of this? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. You could make the case that because App was open source, anyone could have copied it with some extra features. But it makes sense that TJ got annoyed since he was trying to earn a living as an indie developer and could not compete with a VC funded Silicon Valley startup that can't afford to give free plans. It is a shame that open source contributors that generate so much value and so much money for so many people and companies are not properly rewarded. Apex software has now shut down. If you go to their website, it says that from December December 31st, 2022, all Apex software products are officially end of life. DJ has stopped using Twitter since 2022 and has had zero GitHub contributions in the last year. It seems that he is now into photography according to his beautiful Instagram photos. And when someone in Hacker News asked what happened to him, he replied that he was okay and that he was just taking a long needed break from software. I thank DJ for all the work he put over the years in creating the tools that had so much impact in so many developers' lives. And that allowed so many of us to put food on the table and build a career out of. I hope TJ is happy doing whatever he's doing. And I respect him tons for all his open source work, for telling people to value their time more than money, for being an indie developer, for following his heart, and for building beautiful and useful products all by himself. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this video, about TJ's story, and all his amazing work. Thank you for watching as always. Onjana, kamsahago, sarang hamida, see you on the next one, down me bye bye.